Hey YouTube, um, this week wasn't really a um, good week for the music entertainment industry and the music business. The reason why I say it is because our queen of soul, Miss Aretha Franklin, just passed away yesterday. And um, she died from pancreatic cancer she'd been having for a while. She was the most blessing singer that has been out for decades during the Martin Luther King era and stuff. And um, she brought a lot of joy to all the the past celebrities and the present singers and young generations everywhere. My favorite Aretha Franklin um, type of era of music is the 80s. Um, the main hits... I already know um, they're like from the past, from the late 60s, 70s. Like, I already know about Respect, Save a Little Prayer, Chain of Fools, and all that. Those are like the bigger hits. But the 80s is my era. And I can name a few of Aretha Franklin's songs I love. I like the ones that were produced by Luther Vandross and the other ones produced by Nerado Michael Walden. So the main ones I like... Um, from her um, Love the Hurt Away album, I think this was called, and it has a song called There's a Star for Everyone, one of my top favorites. From her Jump to It album, which is her title, Love Me Right, and um, This Is For Real, and It's Just Your Love, those are my top favorites. And the Get It Right album is um, the title itself, um, Every Woman Wants My Guy. No, Every Girl Wants My God is one of my favorites, too, and Pretender, like that. And my last ones are Freeway Love, and my biggest one I love is Who Zooming Who. And um, from her self-titled album from 1986, I think, or 87. But there are two self-titles, one from 1980 and the other one's from 1986 or 87. Um, let me start from the 1980. United Together is also one of my favorites. And Take Me With You. And then the 1986-87. One of the other ones my favorite is the... Um, Will You Be Waiting For Me featuring George Michael. And the last one, or the last two, um, Do You Still Remember? And um, If You Need My Love Tonight featuring... Um, Drake's uncle, yeah, Drake's uncle, um, Larry Graham, Larry Graham, that's Drake's uncle, for those who didn't know, I've learned this from, I love old school music, Drake's uncle is Larry Graham from the popular funk band Graham Central Station, see, check your history on that, but anyway, Aretha Franklin lived a very, very long time, and during the 2018s, I was starting to see signs of her that she looks like she wasn't doing so good. And um, I knew the time that her life was about to cut short. Then, a few days, I heard that she was not doing well. This was told all over social network and on the news. So, um, then yesterday, it was announced that Rika Franklin just died. And I just want to give my condolences to all the celebrities who worked with her, like Stevie Wonder, uh, Four Tops, um, whoever. But Miss Queen of Soul Aretha, rest in peace. Thank you for bringing joy to my life with your music. You are blessed for bringing this gift to all of us young generations everywhere. God bless your soul. Keep her music alive. Keep her memories alive. That's all I got to say. Rest in peace, Queen. You will be missed by every one of us. Thank you, and have a great night.